Good morning. Uh, before I open it up to questions, uh, I want to take a moment to address where we are and how we got here. I certainly understand that there are strong feelings on all sides of a number of issues and climate policy in particular. That's why after the close of last session, I turned to listening. I met with rural Oregonians and with business owners. I wanted to hear their concerns and address them. That's why the legislation in front of us today is significantly different than before. We work for common ground and we found it. And I'm very, very proud of that. The climate bill now exempts rural drivers from price increases at the pump. It provides real flexibility for local manufacturers. It makes investments exactly where they should be made, in our rural communities, our communities of color, our tribal communities, and our low-income communities, because I want our communities to thrive. This work is now in jeopardy, along with other critical priorities to help Oregonians thrive, from critical flood relief funding to wildfire season preparation, because Senate Republican lawmakers have chosen to walk off the job. We were elected by voters to represent our communities and to be the voice of our constituents in the Capitol. Republicans signed up for this. If they don't like a bill, then they need to show up and change it, or show up and vote no. They should make their voices heard rather than shut down state government. It's extremely disappointing that instead of staying to do the jobs they were elected to do, Senate Republicans have chosen to take a taxpayer-funded vacation. This makes it very, very clear. The Senate Republicans who walked out are not against climate policy. They are against the democratic process. It's incredibly disappointing and a sad moment for Oregon. Oregonians should be outraged, and I am too. I'm happy to take your questions. Governor, could you have avoided this by agreeing to send it out to the public? In other words, what's wrong with sending it to the public for a vote? Look ran on this issue. It was a key platform, and I won by over seven percentage of points. Most of the Democrats in this building ran on this issue, tackling climate change. They were elected to supermajorities in both chambers. It is time for us to move forward. Our children are depending upon us. Our environment is depending upon us. And frankly, the entire world is watching. We need to get this done now. The votes are there to pass it straight up. Governor, uh, you've been speaking to Senator Herman Bershinger and other Republicans. Uh, been negotiating with them to prevent a walkout. I have been in constant communication with Senate Republicans. I talked to Senator Bershinger on Sunday. As you know, um, I worked uh, last week very closely with Senator Hansel. Uh, Representative Barreto and Representative Smith uh, to create the Umatilla Basin uh, recovery proposal. Um, and I've continued to have an open door policy to anyone who wants to talk with me in the legislature. And what are you hearing from them? What do they want from you? And are you willing to work with them on this specific? Look, um, I am been more than willing uh, to talk about uh, the bill itself. Uh, I have bent over backwards in terms of making compromises. But are they asking for anything specific? Not at this time, no. We've all known that this walkout is coming for a long time. Both sides have been sort of strategizing how to deal with it. Your party controls the agenda. When did you guys decide not to put some of the big budget bills, like for DHS and OHA, up before cap and trade, ensuring that at least those would get passed before Republicans walked? Look, um, obviously the control of budget bills is in the hands of the legislature, but typically throughout the session, uh, the budget bills go last, particularly what is known as the Christmas tree bill. Um, and I think that's the way the legislative leisure, leadership chose to do it this time, and um, it totally makes sense to me. Look, the Senate Republicans were elected to do a job. They signed up for this. If they don't like a bill, they should vote no. Um, but leaving the building, shutting down the third branch of government is not the solution. Governor, Senator Courtney said he will not send state troopers to bring them back to work, will you? 
Um, obviously, if I don't get a request from the Senate President, I don't have the authority. Um, the Senate Republicans are adults. They were elected to do a job. Oregonians expect them to do the job that they were elected to do. At this point in time, I'm not calling the state troopers. And what possible solution to this impasse is there? Look, uh, I heard a couple, your, your question, go ahead. Yeah, what, what possible solution to this impasse is there? Well, what I think is most disappointing is there are a number of issues on the table uh, that impact Oregonians across the state. Um, for example, uh, the Umatilla Basin Recovery Package, um, our investments to prevent uh, devastating wildfires, and our work to ensure that community corrections are adequately funded. All of this work is now in jeopardy because the Senate Republicans have walked out of the Capitol. Oh, will you call a special session? I certainly have it within my power to call a special session. At this point of time, there's plenty of time left in the legislative session for us to complete the people's business, to get done the work that needs to be done. A great example of the work that needs to get done is the uh, compromise reach between the environmental community and timber industry uh, to make sure uh, that we aren't fighting it out in the ballot and instead are working on consensus over a table. Governor, a lot of these Republicans have pointed out that their constituents want them to walk out in order to block this bill. So wouldn't you be asking them to risk being voted out of office to stick around to allow a bill to pass that they don't even support? Look, they should make their voices heard rather than leaving the building. They were elected to be the voice of their constituents. Uh, that is what representative democracy is. Uh, by leaving the building, they are shutting down the third branch of government, truly the people's branch, and they're shutting down the work of the state capitol, and that's extremely unfortunate. Governor, are you considering using your emergency powers to suspend the quorum requirement? Uh, look, at this point in time, there's plenty of time left in the session for people to come back into the building, uh, to work on the bills that are in front of us, and to make sure that our ballots, sorry, our budgets are balanced. We have time to get this done. That's where I'm focused right now. Another Governor, do you check? Another executive is that you could, um, as, as I understand it, have uh, DEQ or other agencies take action on climate change immediately, and I, I think that um, the director over there has been working on plans that to do that. So what do you, is that? Certainly I have tools uh, as the uh, chief executive uh, to move forward in terms of tackling climate change. But here's the reality. Um, I think it's important uh, that uh, the legislature uh, make this decision to move forward on this particular bill and tackle climate change through that route. That has got to be our first priority, and that's what I'm committed to making happen over the next two weeks. Governor, how do you, this is essentially a political win, political win for the GOP at this point. You're the governor. How do you get this back under control? So um, I would disagree with your premise. Um, I think certainly our Senate Republicans uh, playing politics with people's lives. Yes, they are. Uh, I think it is a huge loss for the legislative process. But how do you get it back under control at this point? Look, they're adults. They need to come back to the building. They need to do the jobs they were elected to do. Uh, and instead, they're taking a taxpayer-funded vacation. Oregonians should be outraged. But if they don't come back? Session will run out at that point, and then we will go to other action. Governor, uh, have you have you checked uh, into whether you, you uh, could use your emergency power to change the quorum requirement, whether this situation would qualify and whether it would be constitutional? Look, um, I think it's most important that Senate Republicans, they're adults, that they show up to do the work, to do the jobs that Oregonians elected them to do. But have you looked into that? Uh, certainly we've done, ex I will just say, extensive legal research in terms of our powers. Do you have that power constitutionally? That I, that I don't actually know the answer to, and I'll see if we can get that answer to you. I mean, Republicans are saying they want this referred to the voters. Could it come to that, or are you, are there, is there anything that can be done to not let the session run out? Look, this is the third work walkout in 10 months, right? 
the first time they walked out on another issue. This is not against, they are not vote, voicing their opposition to a particular policy bill. They are literally voicing their opposition to democracy, to elected representative government, and to the state legislative branch functioning. This is absolutely unacceptable. Is there a reason, though, not to refer it? What's wrong with that? Look, um, I've been really clear. I was elected by a solid majority. Um, over seven percentage points. I ran on this issue. Oregonians are demanding this action, and it's time that we move forward. Our environment desperately needs us to take action. Oregonians want us to take action, and we should do this through the legislative process. There are the votes to pass the bill as written. Are you there aren't votes to pass the bill if you put it in front of voters? I believe there are votes to pass the bill. I believe that Oregonians are supportive of us tackling climate change. We were elected to do jobs, and that's exactly what we're going to do. If Oregonians support this, why not just call the Republican bluff and send it to the voters? Look, I think there's a lot of compromises available. One of them is a sunset clause. That is something that I have put on the table. That's a very reasonable compromise. We are not interested in referring the bill because we have the votes in the building to pass it upright. And our environment, our children, de our demand that we take action now. And frankly, not only is the nation watching, the entire world is watching. We need to move forward on climate change legislation, and we need to do it now. When would the sunset take effect? Uh, there's, uh, you could put it in the bill whenever you wanted to. I, I think the proposal we put on the table was 2035, but I think there's plenty of options. Has anybody not asked a question and would like to ask a question? Governor, yes. how much time are you willing to let pass before you take a next step to, to bring these senators back? Look, um, it's very clear uh, that they have until midnight, March 8th, uh, to show up. Uh, it would be my expectation that they show up in a reasonable amount of time so that we can get the people's business done. As I mentioned, there's a number of issues out there that uh, we need to address from wildfire preparation to community corrections to making sure that the people of the Umatilla Basin have the resources needed for recovery. That's what I think is most important. That's the work I'm going to be focused on for the next couple of weeks. Well, just to follow up on that, March, they don't come back into the building on, by midnight, March 8th. Would you call a special session? Look, that's certainly been my authority to do so. At this point in time, I'm focused on getting the people's business done. That means tackling the bills that are in front of us. When you talked with Senate Republicans recently, I think it was last week, but time escapes me. What did you tell them? When you, or excuse me, when you talked with Senate Democrats last week. Oh, with the Senate Democratic Caucus? Look, um, I asked everybody to keep their heads in the game, stay calm, cool, and collected. Um, we are going to be successful. It just may take some time. Any other questions? Is this walkout any different from the previous ones? Yes, Dick. It's substantially more disappointing that the Senate Republicans are choosing to shut down the democratic process to basically put a halt to the work of state government. Yes, it's extremely disappointing. What specifically will you plan to do today to start the process of trying to get them back? Uh, at this point in time, I'm focused on uh, figuring out how we take care of the needs across the state. Um, how do we continue uh, the recovery work around the Umatilla Basin region? Um, as you know from my package, there's roughly $6 million in that package for affordable housing. Um, one of the things that happened uh, with the flooding was a complete destruction of the mobile home park. Uh, we have to figure out how that's going to be relocated, how we get housing for those 50 to 75 families. That's the work I'm going to be focused on today. Thank you all. Thank you, Governor.